as, as one of the Pachachka organizers, for the last two years I've been carrying this presentation on a little flash drive in my pocket as the, um, as the last ditch opportunity in case one of our presenters at the last minute got hit by a truck or got cold <laughs> feet or something like that, and I'm tired of carrying it around. So I'm going to tell you about it tonight. Hit it, Steve. The Dalai Lama is one of the most respected and widely recognized people in the world. He has the Nobel Peace Prize. Um, he is one of the, according to lots of global um, uh, polls, he's one of the most recognized faces in the world. So why is it, starting about 20 years ago, a whole bunch of Tibetan monks and foreign uh, Tibetan Buddhist converts started demonstrating against him and saying evil things about him, like stop lying and stop taking away our religious freedom. It's a very complicated story. It continues to this day, and it involves this guy, who is Dorje Shugden, a spirit in the Tibetan panoply of spirits, who is regarded as a Dharma protector of the Galukpa school, which is the school, the main powerful school of Tibetan Buddhism among many schools, and it's the school of both the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama. They're the ones with the yellow hats, and the Galukpa school has the biggest monasteries in Kathmandu and in Lhasa, and they're all powerful, uh, the Galukpa sect. But it wasn't always this way. A few hundred years ago, there were one of three or four major sects, and there was a big civil war where they wanted to gain dominance over the other sects, which wore different kinds of hats. The main old form of Tibetan Buddhism, the original one, was called Nyingma. And the Nyingma uh, were equally powerful, and the Geluks got tired of fighting civil wars and not winning. So they invited in their friends, the Mongols from the north, in what is now Qinghai province, to come down and beat up the Nyingma sect. These guys came in on horseback and pillaged and burned and destroyed lots of big monasteries, including many of the Nyingma monasteries. And it took them about a year, but ever since then, three or four hundred years ago, the Galukpa sect has, or the Galuk sect, has been the leading sect of Tibetan Buddhism. In case you thought these guys were real primitives, look, they took digital photography more than 300 years ago. <laughs> Shugden is easily recognizable because he's the only spirit of the Tibetan panoply that I know of who wears a cowboy hat. And he's always seen riding a horse as some of the others. The Dalai Lama decided that this guy was a divisive figure, even though the Dalai Lama himself studied the, the uh, practice of Shugden, meditating, thinking of Shugden for years to become qualified to do it himself. But then he decided that they were divisive and that the other sects of Buddhism opposed Shugden and were embarrassed by it. So he declared that nobody should practice Shugden. Hence, all these demonstrations. Here's one in Germany with a lot of German converts to Tibetan Buddhism. And they were upset that the Dalai Lama said, you shouldn't practice the meditation of Darje Dorje Shugden anymore, and if you do, you're not welcome into any of the classes I, the Dalai Lama, teach. Then in 1997, in Dharamsala, where the Dalai Lama has his uh, self-styled Tibetan government in exile, there was a terrible murder of three of the senior monks and lamas who were allied with the Dalai Lama to suppress the practice of Shugden. It turns out that it was Shugden Lamas, monks, who had killed them. Robert Thurman, who is a professor at Columbia, um, good friend of the Dalai Lama, then said that the Shugdens were the Taliban of Tibetan Buddhism. This made an easy target for more demonstrations. He's easier to attack than the Dalai Lama. He himself was the first Westerner ever to become fully ordained as a Tibetan monk. After a few years of that, he asked his friend the Dalai Lama to release him from his vows so that he could marry the internationally known uh, fashion model Nina von Schleibrugge, and they had a daughter named Uma. 
Now, neither his wife nor Uma Thurman have had anything to say about the Shugden controversy. They have nothing to do with my story. I threw them in because it's an old Pachachka principle that if you have a topic that's really weird and confusing, just throw in pictures of a f fashion model and a Hollywood figure and it'll be okay. Geshe Gelsang Gyatso Rinpoche is the founder and spiritual director of the new Kadampa tradition. And all of these demonstrations around the world, in Lhasa, in India, in Europe, in the United States, New York, and San Francisco, were his people. They have a lot of websites. They even put out a comic book in 22 languages to explain Dorje Shugden and why he is the protector of us all, not just of the Gelug sect of Buddhism, making you know, trouble and on the downtrodden other schools of Buddhism. I was in Kathmandu and met with uh, Tsori, uh, Tulku Tsori, who is a Rinpoche, regarded as a reincarnate Lama of the Nyingma school, to ask how serious this was. He says that when the Mongols came into Tibet, they did way more killing and damage, burning of monasteries and libraries and so forth, than even the Chinese have done in the last 20 years. In Lhasa at the Sera Monastery, famous for its learning debates of the student monks, I learned that about a third of the monastery were still Shugden followers and had all their meetings and practices separate from the rest of the school, which were following the Dalai Lama's instruction. The Ganden Monastery up on the hills outside of Lhasa was fully for Shugden. The few lamas that didn't, and monks that didn't want to join them actually had to leave and go to other monasteries. The people in Lhasa told me they call this the anti-Dalai Lama uh, monastery. It's one of the three huge monasteries of Tibet. But I want you to know that elsewhere in Tibet and all over the Himalayas, where there are hundreds of monasteries and temples, most Tibetan Buddhism followers still practice their profession and study what life is all about, just like the rest of us. They know about this controversy, but they don't let it get in their way. And that's my confusing story. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for listening. <laughs>